Okay, this is what would happen to five U.S. cities if Comet C slash 2022 E3 hit five major cities. Okay, here's the beautiful United States. And like I said, I'm picking five locations for this Comet to hit. Uh, the diameter is 0.60 miles. We're going to have a speed about 63,000 miles. It could vary on the Comet. Um, and an impact, impact angle will be 45 degrees. I'm going to do multiple videos on these for different countries and different states. So comment where you guys want me to do next. And if I got any of this wrong, I will fix it in the next video. So like I said, the first one we're doing is going to be over here in Chicago. As I zoom in. There we go. So we got to zoom in on Chicago real quick. Okay. So there we are. Downtown Chicago. So we're going to do a click launch asteroid or comet, I should say. And here we go. Okay. So the crater is going to be about 1300 feet wide, and an estimated 130 people will be vaporized in the center, which I find that a very, very low estimate for being in a major city. I don't. I think that's exactly accurate. I definitely with all the buildings alone, there's probably at least maybe 10,000-ish people here. So I don't think that's very accurate. And it said the crater's going to be 296 feet deep. And I guess they'll say it's create a tsunami because obviously the lakes around it will be 0.50 miles tall. The impact will be 59,000 miles per hour, pretty much close to 60,000 miles an hour. Um, 26 gigatons of TNT. We can zoom out too. We can see the fireball. So this is what the fireball would look like too. Pretty much all of Chicago is pretty much, pretty much gone. So 50% fatality rate. Obviously, it'd be all the way out here. Close catch on fire. Out here. Third degree burns. Pretty far away still. And then second degree burns, which will not be good. And that's very. That's hundreds of miles away too, which is pretty. Pretty incredible. It's estimated that almost 4 million people will die in the fireball. Uh, estimated almost 400,000 people will receive three de uh, third degree burns. Uh, nearly a million people will receive second degree burns. And your clothes will catch on fire 53 miles away. Trees will catch on fire um, up to 105 miles away. So let's zoom in here real quick. 99% um, fatalities will be right here. Severe lung damage, um, eardrum rupture, and then buildings collapsing. Look how far away, even still, of buildings collapsing. And then homes. You're still, you're hundreds of miles away and your home could collapse. Okay, so lungs will receive damage 36 miles away. Ruptured eardrums 46 miles away. Buildings will collapse 81 miles away. So this is what we're talking about here, the uh, second to last circle. And then homes 108 miles away will collapse. They're saying the wind speed will be 429,000 miles per hour. And they're saying over 2 million people will die from the wind blast alone. And the winds are traveling 24, 000, 24 miles faster than the storm on Jupiter. Homes 36,000 miles, 39 miles away will be completely leveled. And within 70 miles, it will feel like you're inside of an EF5 tornado. And all trees will be knocked down 106 miles away. You can see here the graph I'm talking about. 1,000 miles, 500 EF5 winds with a tornado. EF3, 136 still. And trees knocked down still. That's a heck of a blast. So, this is Chicago. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, here we are. Now we're on number four, which is going to be New York City. So here we go, all same settings here. Just gotta zoom in a little bit more, and here we go. We're gonna launch it. Okay, again, it's gonna be a 1,300 um, foot crater, and that's made. 826 people will be evaporated in the crater alone, which I think that's a little under with all the big buildings around. Um, so I think that's, I think that number should be way higher. Um, the crater to be 296 feet deep, and it will create a tsunami uh, about a half mile high. And then the impact will be about 59, a little closer to 60,000 miles an hour, and again, 66 gig, 
26 gigatons of TNT. More energy in the world consumes in a whole entire year. So, let's see if back out, see a fireball here. The fireball will be 12 miles wide, which will kill over 800, 8 million people, and another 800,000, closer to 900,000, will receive third degree burns. And estimate over 2 million will receive second degree burns, and your clothes will catch on fire 53 miles away. So, here it is for scale, here as you can see. Pretty, pretty wild stuff. Trees will catch on fire all the way 105 miles an hour. So we're getting into Philadelphia, New Jersey, all that. Almost into Maryland too. Or Delaware. And then goes all the way up here to reaching all the way up here. So that's a big, that's a big blast. So trees will catch on fire 105 miles away. A shockwave decibel. Um, over 5 million people will die from the shockwave alone. Anyone uh, 36 miles away will receive severe lung damage. Anyone 46 miles away will have ruptured eardrums. Buildings 81 miles away will still collapse. That's getting towards Philly. Um, pretty much all Long Island's gone. New York, it would not be a very good situation here. So it goes all the way up here. So we could scale here for just for scale. And then homes will collapse 108 miles away. So even all the way down here past Philly, um, homes will be destroyed. Winds will be over 429,000 miles an hour at peak. So we'll be over here, be a thousand miles an hour, then it slowly disintegrates from here on out. So even if you lived in Philly, you'll still be getting 136 mile per hour winds, uh, which will cause a lot of damage. Winds will be 24 miles faster than storms on Jupiter, which is already crazy. Um, if you live 39 miles away, it'll feel like your house will be completely leveled. If you live 70 miles away, it'll feel like you are in an EF5 tornado, which is a um, third outer circle here. And then all trees will be knocked down 106 miles away, so we're way past Philly here. Yeah, it will not be, not be a very good situation. So, this is New York. Let's get down to the third one now. Okay. Here we go, number three on the list, which is our favorite, Florida. So we have all the same settings here going, and we're gonna launch it towards Miami. So here we go. So to start off, 1,300 foot crater, uh, estimated 125 will die in the blast. Uh, I feel like that number is still low, as I said before. Tsunami be half mile tall. Uh, impact is 60,000 miles an hour more energy than at least in the entire year it does something like this does happen every 330,000 years so i don't know when the last one was and i don't know if we're way overdue for it or we still have some time but that's only an average um estimate over 2 million people will die in the fireball which will be the little circle here in, in the middle and then 169,000 people will receive third degree burns which will be on the outer course here which will be pretty much the whole entire tip of Florida. Clothes will catch on fire 53 miles away, um, which is crazy. And then trees will get set on fire 105 miles away. So you can see here, we can look out here, pretty much the entire tip of Florida would pretty much be completely destroyed. The shock wave will be 309 decibels. They're saying, Almost 1.5 million people will die just from the shock wave alone. Anyone 36 miles away will get lung damage. Anyone 46 miles away will have ruptured eardrums. And 81 miles away, buildings will collapse. So pretty much all of Key West will get destroyed. And then, like I said, pretty much the entire tip will be destroyed. Homes 108 miles away will get destroyed. So it's going all the way up here and knocking trees on too. So it will cause significant damage, that's for sure. Um, within 70 miles, I feel like you're being inside an EF5 tornado. So you can see here, this is EF5 winds. Pretty much this entire area. Actually, pretty much all from EF, EF3 range, 136 miles, and would be a lot, a lot of trouble. So that's Florida, guys. Let's get to the next one. Okay, here we go. Texas comes in number two list. This one's kind of difficult because I wasn't really sure where exactly I should put it um, have it hit so my 
the best thing I can think of would be probably Dallas would probably be the best place for it since we're going off of major cities. So that's what we're gonna do. Like I said, all same settings here. Here we go. Launch. Let's see what's gonna be happening here. So saying 29 people will be vaporized in the crater alone. I think that is very, very gentle, I guess you could say. Also, it is a little bit outside the city, too, which I think that will be quadrupled the amount uh, as it would be with this tent on me right here. Crater will be about 300 feet deep. Tsunami will be about half a mile high. It will be hitting about 60,000 miles an hour. And the fireball will be about 12 miles, which will kill 3 million people and extra and 167,000 people order to uh, third degree burns and 249 uh, will receive second degree burns as well. And clothes will catch on fire 53 miles away. So like I said, that's pretty much the entire, entire city's in the fireball. And then clothes will catch on fire is really, really far out already. And then third degree burns a little bit even farther than that. So that's a lot, that's a lot of very bad burns. If of course you survive the the blast to start with. So trees will catch on fire 105 miles away. So 99% fatalities will be in this circle right here. Severe lung damage out an hour circle. It would it would just not be a very good day. Uh, eardrums rupture. You're still like really far in the city. And then even when you get farther out, when you zoom out here, the buildings collapse very very far away, 81 miles to be exact. Um, and homes will get collapsed and damaged 108 miles away. So let's zoom out here in Texas and we can really see how big of an actual impact that actually is. So that's really, really crazy. Um, they're saying 16, 16 or 1.6 million people will die from the wind blast alone. Um, homes 39 miles away will get leveled. And then the first 70 miles will be like living in a EF5 tornado. So that's really crazy. It will not be a good day, especially if it hits a major city chance of survival will be very very slim okay so that was number two let's go on to number one okay last but not least we have los angeles california is our number one spot here so we'll see what kind of damage it will cause here so we're going to zoom in a little bit more in los angeles we can get at least over the city and here we go okay estimated again about 195 People will die in the impact crater. Obviously, that's going to be a lot higher. It'll be about 300 feet deep. Tsunami, half a mile tall. Impact, 60,000 miles an hour. And then the fire. Let's go check the fireball here. Fireball will be 12 miles wide. Let's see if we can zoom out here. So, the fireball takes the entire area. Pretty much all of LA will be completely wiped off the mat. Um, 619,000 people will get third degree burns, over 1 million people will get second degree burns, and clothes will catch on fire 53 miles away, which at the point is mostly out into the ocean if you're facing that other direction, um, but facing inwards, it's not, not going to be a very good day, and this is not including also the wildfires it will create too, so you can pretty much just triple the number of all these for the most part, so the wildfires that would happen after. Trees will catch on fire 105, 105 miles away. Like I said, wildfires are going to be a big part here because it's a part of the country where wildfires happen all the time, especially in the summer. Uh, it happened now during the wet season in the winter. Maybe not so much, but it really would depend on the time of year. So 99% fatalities, you can see in the circle here, pretty much takes up the whole um, Los Angeles area, kind of reaching towards Long Beach. Um, but it's going to be on the border, but you'll still get se very severe lung damage, which will be 36 miles away. And then 46 miles away, you get pretty bad lung damage. Uh, would not would not be a very good time. Buildings 81 miles away will collapse. It goes all the way out here and all the way up into the desert a little bit. Uh, homes will collapse 108 miles away. This is also not including the earthquake it will probably cause because um, San Andreas Vault is around this area too, so it, this can, it can cause uh, many, many different issues, especially in this part of the country where it's very prone to earthquakes and wildfires. So these numbers definitely could vary a lot. So peak wind will be um, 429 miles per hour. They're saying that 
Um, estimated almost 3 million will die from the blast. And then homes will be leveled 39 miles away. With 70 miles of it being feeling like you're inside an EF5 tornado. And 160 miles away, we can zoom out here, uh, trees will get knocked down. So yeah guys, this is a top 5 list of what happened in the United States. So definitely let me know what you guys want me to do next.